In this video lesson, let us try to understand about the conversion of benzyl alcohol to phenyl ethanoic acid. I just want you to focus your attention for the given raw material and the product of our requirement. Raw material is benzyl alcohol. This has to be converted into phenyl ethanoic acid. What is that we are observing in the case? We have to bring about an increase in the length of the carbon chain that is to the side chain of the benzene ring and then the alcohol has to be converted into carboxylic acid. See, the method of converting an alcohol, a primary alcohol into a carboxylic acid is a simple process. Just by the process of oxidation, we can bring about this change. But then, what is the change here? We also first need to increase the carbon chain by one carbon atom and that has to be converted into the corresponding carboxylic acid. So, it involves different steps. Let us go about that in detail. Let us write the formula of benzyl alcohol. C6H5CH2OH is the formula of benzyl alcohol. This is the benzene ring to which CH2 is attached. So C6H5CH2 if it is present, it is called a benzyl group. Like how C6H5 is called phenyl group, likewise C6H5CH2 is called benzyl group. A OH is attached to the benzyl group is called benzyl alcohol. First, this OH nucleophile has to be replaced by an halide. Why we should do so? Only if we are replacing with an halide, that in the next step can be treated with alcoholic potassium cyanide which will enable us to increase the length of the carbon chain. So, let us treat this with hydrogen acid like HBr. Hydrogen acid or halogen halides we can call it as. So, now what will happen when we are treating this with another nucleophile? What happens? This OH gets removed, goes out as water and Br takes a linkage. So, what is that we are going to obtain? H2O goes out and this thing remains intact. C6H5CH2. The benzyl group remains intact. In that place of OH we obtain Br. So, what is the name of this compound? It should be called benzyl bromide. It should be called benzyl bromide. This benzyl bromide is then treated with alcoholic potassium cyanide. This is another nucleophile. So this CN will take an attachment in the place of BR. BR combines with potassium goes out as KBR. So there is one more nucleophilic substitution there. The point of focus here is that from alcohol directly we cannot treat it with an alcoholic AC and it has to go through this intermediate step or that is via converting an alcohol into an halide. The halide can be converted into a cyano group. So now one more nucleophilic substitution is taking place. So what is that we are going to obtain? CN will take the place of BR and KBR goes out. So let me write this minus KBR and then C6H5CH2 the benzyl group along with this what else will we see? CN will be taking an attachment. So what is the name of this group? What can we call this group as? There is a benzyl group and then cyanide being attached to so benzyl cyanide. The name of this compound can be called as benzyl cyanide or else let me just write the structure of this. How is this going to be? Writing a small structure just to make you to understand. C 
CNN. So this can be taken as phenyl and this can be taken as cyanoethane. Oh, sorry. Cyanomethane. CH3CN is the formula of cyanomethane of which what has happened? One hydrogen is replaced by a phenyl group. Then the formula will be C6H5CH2CN like this. So we can also call this as phenyl is there and then cyanomethane. That can also be one more name for this compound. Either you can write it as benzyl cyanide or else you can call it as phenyl methyl cyanide or phenyl cyanomethane. Okay. So now once we obtain this, what is that we observe from this chain of carbon to this chain of carbon. We can see here, this is the benzene thing, C6H5, this is gone and the side chain was having only one carbon atom. But if you observe here, apart from the benzene ring, you see the presence of two carbon atoms. That means we have increased the carbon atoms in the side chain, which was our requirement because we have to convert that into eth. And then now we need to convert that into oic acid. That means we produce carboxylic acid. So how can we bring about this process of converting benzyl cyanide into phenyl ethanoic acid. How can we bring about this? Simple, subject it to the process of acid hydrolysis. When we subject it to the process of acid hydrolysis, combining these two you can also write it as H3O and then single plus as separated and written. There are two molecules of water to be shown. Now what will happen here? This nitrogen will go out by taking 3 hydrogen from here as ammonia, it will go out as NH3. Then what is that we are left with? From 4 hydrogen, 3 is gone. So 1 hydrogen and then 2 oxygen. That will combine with COOH. So we are going to obtain C6H5, this as it is CH2 and then it's going to be COOH along with NH3. Let me write the benzene ring structure of this so that you understand the concept better. Now what happens? CH2 and then COOH. How can you name this as? It was earlier, you can understand this to be CH3COOH. What is this? This is ethanoic acid or acetic acid. Acetic acid is its trivial nomenclature. Ethanoic acid is its IUPAC nomenclature. What has happened in this structure? It has lost one hydrogen and in the place of that hydrogen, phenyl group has taken a linkage. Therefore, it is going to be phenyl ethanoic acid. This is ethanoic acid. One hydrogen replaced by a phenyl group. Then what would be the name of this compound? It's going to be phenyl ethanoic acid. Phenyl ethanoic acid. So, this is the formula. This is the structure. So now, what did we do? We brought about the conversion of benzyl alcohol to phenyl ethanoic acid. Let me just go through all of the steps with a quick repetition. Benzyl alcohol is treated with hydrogen halide or halogen acid. We can call this as with HBr. Nucleophilic substitution occurs resulting in the formation of benzyl bromide along with formation of water. Benzyl bromide is subjected to one more nucleophilic substitution to increase the carbon chain length. By treating it with alcoholic potassium cyanide. Alcoholic potassium cyanide reacts with benzyl bromide forming potassium bromide and then benzyl cyanide. Or we can also, as I told you, we can also call this as phenyl, ethyl, phenyl cyanomethane or phenyl ethane nitride. Any name you can call it. Now this benzyl cyanide is subjected to the process of acid hydrolysis. We obtain the phenyl ethanoic acid. I have written and shown you the structure of phenyl ethanoic acid. 
and this is obtained along with the formation of ammonia. So this is the method of converting benzyl alcohol to phenyl ethanoic acid. Let us look and understand about few more conversions from the concept of carboxylic acid. Watch all, all of the videos for a deeper understanding of the concept.